What's up guys, it's Mike here for Grow Indoors 365. Today is Sunday the 18th. Whoa, I got a lot to show you guys and some of the fun stuff we got. These are looking beautiful. This is the uh, weekly check-in. I like doing Sunday check-ins. They're always the most fun. Let's go. What's going on with this little guy? Oh, he's doing good, he's doing good. Let's just cover him up a little bit right there. So, hope you're all having a good weekend hope you're all growing good some of this homegrown food now this is my carrots they're looking really really good in the dirt I'm gonna get some water on them today overall I'm really happy with them it looks like they're actually forming quite well at the bottom I'm really excited to see I've never grown carrots before so this is gonna be my first time in dirt and there they are, hydroponically right there. Um, so I don't even know what to expect with that, but we'll talk about that in a second. These are looking really good. I'm a, a question to you guys, can you comment down below, have you guys ever juiced this top part? Because <clears throat> honestly, I've never even seen a carrot with this top. Because when I go to the supermarket and I buy a carrot, it's already all chopped up and you know, however it comes, I've never seen this, this greenery on top of a carrot. So. If, I don't know if this, there's nutrition in this or it's worth uh, to juice maybe with the carrot. I have no idea. If you know about it, please let me know. <clears throat> now, a new addition to the actual LED grow tent is this here. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven it looks like. Eight. This is the little guy coming right here. Eight and nine in here. This lavender. I decided to... I wanted something that smells like amazing and I am a huge huge fan of, of lavender and um, I actually just wanted to see uh, if I could grow it number one how easy it is and um, stuff like that so so I got I got a couple lavenders here and uh, I'm just trying them out and we'll see how tall they grow we'll see just the whole situation I'm quite excited what are Please get out of here. Are you <laughs> little cat? Sir, please get out. Sorry about that, guys. Gotta protect that, that watermelon. Now, they like to sneak in there as soon as they can. Oh, great. They try to sneak in there all the time. Anyway, this is the lavender, so I'm really trying to. Um, I'm trying to see what kind of lavender, how it grows, how tall it grows, does it smell like amazing. I'm very excited for this. I've never really, oh, <laughs> never really grown like uh, like a, a flower. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Now, in comparison to the LED light in regards to the watermelon, I have three watermelons right here. It seems to me that the stems are looking pretty good. The stems are looking all right. But overall, the size of the actual leaves and if you guys have ever felt the watermelon leaves, they're really rough. It's really, it's interesting. They're kind of rough and slightly prickly. Um, not exactly sure what's really going on. I mean, the light is fairly high up, and um, I'm just not sure. But this is the, uh, the dirt portion of the watermelon, and that's what they look like. So, uh, you know, as you guys know, I'm doing a comparison with if you guys just saw let me just take you down here this is what i got going on in regards to you know providing the watermelon with minimal nutrients at this time now i haven't gone overboard with any nutrients because i'm actually out of nutrients and i'm about to buy some this week but look at this stem let me see if i can focus in really well on that look at that look how prickly it looks like but honestly that prickle is uh it's not prickly at all it's kind of just uh hairy there's actually no prickle to it. It's very soft, but overall, it just it looks it looks really good. It's coming along well. I'm not sure what's going on with this little leaf piece right here, but other than that, it looks like we're getting like really nice nodes in here, and it's coming along. I presume this is going to be um, a lengthy process. This could take several months due to, from what I'm seeing, the current development phase of. I honestly don't know how long it takes to grow a watermelon, and uh, that's where we are with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and look up here. <laughs> okay, so I can't even explain what's really going on right here. These, uh, these, 
these basil leaves are enormous. They're literally enormous. They're actually bigger than the mom plant that I got these clones from. And it's incredible. So if I actually look at this plant right here, I could literally, from this one plant right here, if I was to minimize the growth potential of this plant, I can do, what can I do? I could do one, I could do probably two, three, four, five as of right now. So if I was to just not care about this one plant, I could create five plants from this one plant due to how the stems are forming, where the leaves are positioned, and how the top crowns are positioned. I'm able to reduce the energy uh, line of the stem on where it's actually providing the most nutrients that it's deriving from the water and the nutrient that I'm providing. I'm reducing that and bringing it all to the top, allowing for the stem to provide all the energy to the top. So that's where you're going to cut it. But bottom line is, what I'm trying to say is, from one plant, I could create five right now if I wanted to. I'm going to eat some of this tonight for dinner. I got some uh, mozzarella cheese and we're going to uh, do some, you know, like tomato mozzarella with basil. It's pretty amazing. If you've never tried it, please do. And you get a little uh, balsamic vinaigrette drizzle. That's what I really uh, use the basil for. Now down here below is my, uh, is my lemon mint and let me tell you, right now I'm a, oh, it's overpowering when you're touching the basil and then you're trying to really smell these things. These are like unbelievable. Like I wish we had some sort of smell of vision that I could potentially provide you, but I can't. But these smell amazing. Like I love these, and they're still in uh, they're still in development. But I could totally start kind of. Um, some of them are way bigger than the others. I mean, look how big some of these leaves are. And basically, right now is the time where I can start snipping these down, kind of uh, ripping them up. And putting them into like one of those uh, tea of Anna, uh, like tea pressurizers where you could put some of the uh, herbs inside, you add the water, let it steep, and then if you put it on top of your mug, the water seeps from the bottom, kind of pressing all the herbs. It's going to be good. It makes a really nice tea. Um, it tastes pretty nice. I mean, you could actually just chew this. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, just a little herb, but it's amazing. This like lemon mint i've had it for a while and i always use it and it's almost like i i grow this stuff just for the satisfaction of being able to grow something number one knowing that you can do it number two uh sharpening your skills on doing it and number three um it's just beautiful honestly just maintaining plants like this inside your house knowing that you have the capability is absolutely beautiful now, um, we've come to this. These are the carrots, hydroponic carrots. I really don't even, these, they look so different here. Whoa, this, this root right here is looking pretty serious. Um, I, I, I don't know how this is going to evolve. I mean, these are looking good. They're pretty uh, leggy, honestly. They're pretty leggy. And it's interesting to say how different the leggy is from there to the leg, the, like no real legginess here. I mean, these, these look pretty nice and firm. Maybe it depends on where the dirt is to a certain level here, which is, uh, that's what's really keeping them uh, standing up. But I mean, there's some pieces that are just enormous. I mean, look at that. That's like seven inches high. So, I don't know. But, I mean, the root system, the root system is doing well, but I'm still super confused on how this is going to work when the carrot's trying to go through the growing medium and make its way to the water. I, I'm, I just don't, I don't even understand how the carrot really grows. You know, from this top piece, where is the actual carrot developed from? So these are some of the things that I'm trying to understand, but you always have to try first and then, you know, figure it out from there. And I guess that's exactly what I will be doing and we'll see, but I'm really excited to see the watermelon grow and uh, just the overall test between these T5s and the LED light that I have. Um, this is really it guys. Down below is all the links for everything that I currently use to maintain my grow. It's right down below. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications regarding every single time that I upload a brand new video. You gotta hit that bell. All it will do is send you an, uh, a quick email notification letting you know that Grow Indoors 365 has uploaded a new uh, new clip. And again, this is it guys. This is Mike with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for uh, joining me on this beautiful Sunday. I hope you're all having a good time growing and 
maintaining a nice indoor grow like me, make sure to hit the links down below to get all the equipment that you need to start your own grow. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave a, a comment down below and I will answer you very quickly. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook fan page. Give me a thumbs up. See you guys soon.